And, uh, it's great to see you all here. We have a program here in Shirlington at Bus Boys and Poets every fourth Tuesday evening at 6. So we encourage you to keep coming. Uh, uh, we've had some great programs, but I gotta say, I think this is our best. <laughs> this isn't something that really happened overnight, um, but we also, it's not something that has been in the works for years. We really were able to pull this off in a matter of a couple months of, of you know, first, no, we don't think this is going to happen to, oh, this is happening, let's get behind this and, and, and start going. So there was a lot of um, ebb and flow in trying to really kind of figure out what we were doing. No one really anywhere has ever done anything quite like we did in West Virginia. I mean, an entire state, teachers and service personnel went on strike for nine days. But I think that it's also something that I've said, it's very fitting that the resurgence of a labor movement has once again come from West Virginia. And, you know, we're not in Blair Mountain, but, you know, our teachers and our service personnel did this. So I think that that is, is absolutely amazing. And I think that we are both and all of us are still in awe of exactly what we accomplished and how we accomplished it. I think we're still processing it. I know I am. Absolutely true. Without the, the support of all 55 superintendents of the state closing schools, um, we it, this would have been a much different situation. Um, we, we were very fortunate. We did not lose pay while we were out on strike. The way that our contracts work, if you're a teacher, you have to work 200 days in the school year. So there's a little bit of wiggle room that we could could make up these days at the end of the year. So this kind of started through social media. Um, there were Facebook groups that had popped up and um, it really made this a grassroots effort. It didn't come from the state down, it was the members going up. Probably due to, probably in effect due to the, the ability to communicate openly on Facebook. So then for us to actually have an actual work stoppage, we had to take another vote. So we went to our local union, the local 152 plumbers and pipe fitters, and they graciously let us use their site. So we had to do another vote, and it was every employee in Mon County that could vote. Whether you were a union member or a non-union member, they wanted to make sure everybody was on the same page, which that vote cost, like again, with a high amount. Okay. So we got lucky. So numbers, you can't fire everybody. And what happened was... We already have 700 vacancies. Who's going to come in? Nobody! <laughs> and the parents of our PTO, mostly, they were they were great. And the parents in my classroom were even like, well, are you guys coming back to school? And I'm like, well, I don't know. Well, stay out as long as you need to because we've got you. Uh, we get together with all of the local food pantries um, and they so graciously supported everything that we did. The parents would bring in food for the kids at each local school. Um, they were overrunning with food. Local businesses, uh, family owned restaurants would open their doors and um, if you were a child, you got a free meal that day. No questions asked. Um, I know the, the Dairy Queens, every Dairy Queen did that. Um, some local um, Mexican restaurants, Italian restaurants, like family owned type places, um, open their doors to these kids. One of the days, I think it was a Friday, and my days really do run together. Um, the, the older students, it was really, I think, led by the older high school students, but I saw there that day kids of all ages and parents, they had a student march for the teachers on the Capitol grounds. And it was, I have a video somewhere of it, it was quite a sight. Hundreds of students marching with their parents or, or alone within this big, huge group chanting the support for us. It was just, it was really inspiring and it, it made you realize just how, how important our job really is. I know in, in my local people that I have been working on for years, 
to join the union, any union. Um, finally, I think during the work stoppage and seeing what we actually stand for and what we do, that so many had come to me and said, okay, I, I see your point now, where do I sign up? So I, I think that, that while this was the craziest nine days of my life and um, a lot of blood, sweat, tears, I think um, it showed. It showed everybody what what we stand for, who we are, what the union is, and what we can be when we stand together. So I think that that is what has us strike. This uh, strike was uh, was immensely important, not only for them, uh, not only for all of the teachers and students and personnel of West Virginia, but for the entire nation. I think they showed us what is possible. I know they have been changed and they have worked so hard. They were working, I heard their stories, 24 hours a day. It was very stressful, it was very difficult, it was very heroic what they did. It's an honor to have them here. It's incredibly moving to hear the story. I just want to, um, again, thank you for what you did and for sharing that with us. It's, it means so much to us, so thank you. Thank you.